AP Player of the Year and also the AP Coach of the Year. Um, today we're honoring two Huskies, uh, one from the East Coast and one from the West Coast. Uh, Kelsey Plum had a historic season with the Washington Huskies. She broke the NCAA career points, topping Jackie Styles' 16-year-old record. Washington Huskies, Huskies head coach is Mike Neighbors. He's here in the building today. But Plum became the first Washington player to receive this award. She is a hero and a role model for ladies pursuing the game of basketball. Now I present the AP Player of the Year, Kelsey Plum. National Championship trophy looks like, Coach. Um, but uh, I just want to say thank you to um, the AP for this award. It's it's just an honor. Um, I'm so grateful to the University of Washington, um, to my coach, um, my teammates. You know, this been this year has been absolutely amazing. And um, you know, there's not there's not much that I can say besides that I'm just I'm very thankful for the opportunities that I've been given. And, I'm grateful to play this game, so thank you. Now it's time for the AP Coach of the Year. We're honored again um, for Coach Gino Oriyama. Um, under Coach Gino's leadership, the Huskies have 10 consecutive Final Four and four straight championships. This might have been the best coaching job of his Hall of Fame career. UConn met every challenge and entered the Final Four without loss, winning 11, 111 straight games. It's the night time that Coach Gino has been honored as the AP Coach of the Year, including the last two years. The AP Coach of the Year, Gino Ariane. Obviously, uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's incredibly rewarding when the people that uh, you work with help you get something because uh, you don't ever do it by yourself. And, and Kelsey knows this, and we want to congratulate her. Uh, you know. When, when you do something amazing like she's done, it's because your teammates, your coaching staff, as she rightly said, uh, have a lot to do with that. Uh, but as a player, in the end, you know, it does fall on you uh, to stand out and be special. And you were, obviously. And you, uh, you deserve it. Um, when you're a coach, it's a little bit different, you know? You're not ever on the court. You're never um, 
right there with the players. You know, you're not expected to get a rebound, you know, get a stop, make a shot that you have to make. You know, all that is done by uh, by the players. And you're only as, as good as your players um, perform during that particular that particular year. And some years you work really, really hard and it just doesn't happen. For whatever reason, it just doesn't connect you and the players or the players and the players. And, you know, it's nobody's fault. It just doesn't happen. And this was one of those years where I think our coaching staff, Chris and uh, Marissa, Shay, um, Chloe, just, just joined us this year. Um, this is one of those years where we worked really, really, really hard because we knew everything was different. We knew what the challenges were. But it still wouldn't have been possible to get you know, this award if the players didn't work even harder than we did. In the end, they're going to do the things that get us to this weekend, and they did. You know, as a coach, you can only do so much. Um, and then it's the players that take over. And this is really a, a magnificent year for all of us. And the players, all of them, the ones that played the most minutes, the ones that didn't play the, the most minutes, They deserve, they deserve what they're getting right now. And, you know, this award is as much their award as it is, um, as it is mine. So I want to thank them publicly for, um, for having the kind of season that we've had. And lastly, and obviously the most important is the voters who voted for us, you know, some years we work really, really hard and we don't get the award. It's not the reason you work hard. But it's always nice when you do get recognized. And, um, and there were a lot of coaches that did a great job this year. And we're playing against one of them tomorrow night. So to vote for us, um, we're really, um, really honored and really humbled and we appreciate it. And it doesn't matter how many of these we win, we never you know, we never take it for granted, so thank you all very much.